Wake up. Wake up. Don't scream. Don't struggle. Or I may have to kill you. And we wouldn't want that. You will do exactly as I say. Get up and out of the tent. Keep your hands above your head at all times. Don't try to run. I always hit my mark, even on moving targets. But I can't then promise it won't be a painless death. Now sit. Huh? Did... Did you just call me a woman? I'm very clearly a man. I am not effeminate. You are clearly blinded by the dark of night. Look closer, fool. Do you think a woman would have a jawline like this? What do you mean it's soft? My face is as gritty as it gets. Stop laughing. Enough. We have business to attend to. I am going to ask you some questions. If you answer them, and if I like what I hear, you may very well walk away from this alive. But with all of your previous comments, if for any reason I should have to use force, I will be very, very happy to do so. If it comes to needing to eliminate you, I won't be so gentle about it. So watch that smart mouth of yours. What do you know about the incident that took place at the mansion of Takaokarama? Yes, the daimyo. That is correct. <sighs> I know that you are not Takaoka blood. You lack all of the proper attire and the clan's insignia. Then who are you affiliated with? Ah, uh -uh. don't hesitate for too long, or I'll be taking fingers as compensation for wasted time. What happens when you run out of fingers? Uh, I'm not sure. I've never had to get that far. Toes, I guess? What kind of odd questions are you asking here? No, that is not because I've never done this before. I am a seasoned veteran when it comes to my line of business. Now tell me who you're working for. Hmm. So you do have no affiliates. Are you a mercenary, perhaps? The daimyo has expressed opposition towards Sakoku, which, if enough support was rallied, could serve as a threat towards isolationists, and thus would make the daimyo a prime target. However, for the unfortunate assassin, we are not standing by so idly so as to allow such evils to occur. Yes, we, the shinobi. What makes you doubt me? I am not a child. I can get into taverns just fine on my own. Urusai, I do not have a baby face. I'll ask the questions. How does it stand to reason that as the daimyo's household is in a panic because someone happened to poison the water, you were the only one nonchalantly leaving the area? A likely story. I can tell you're being truthful, however. Although I cannot help but believe that you could be involved in conspiracy. You don't know anything. Hmm. Before paying tribute, where were you coming from? Hmm. So you really are just a peasant, then? <laughs> I suppose that checks out. Even if you were involved, you would never make it far enough within the mansion by yourself. Maybe I was wrong about you. I'm sorry? You have the nerve to say that again? What do you mean, cuter up close? Why, I... You think this is some kind of joke? I am a hardened assassin. I've been training for months. 
You see these marks? Only hard asses can get full body markings like these. What do you mean it's only cloth? Oh, okay, perhaps you did see through my painted on ruse, but even then that doesn't... Stop pinching my cheeks! Even if you genuinely aren't under the impression that I would kill you, why did you not take this seriously from the outset? What do you mean? I am Shinobi. Are the blades not convincing enough for you? Sure, maybe I've yet to become a fully-fledged ninja, but I've been working hard as a vigilante all on my own and that's good enough. Hmm. I am not pouting. No, I'm not. <sighs> this is the first time I've had the opportunity to track a case with some actual weight to it, and not just searching for lost chickens or nabbing petty thieves who turned out to be children. I want to solve this case so that someone will notice me and take me seriously, and maybe then I'll finally be able to become a true shinobi. I know it's dangerous, but it's so cool and adventurous. I refuse to live my entire life in such a dull manner as a rice paddy farmer. A and normally I would ask for forgiveness for saying that, since you yourself are a farmer. But considering your previous comments, I say that with full offense intended. Um, fine, I'm sorry. I don't like being mean to people who don't deserve it. And I really don't want to do the whole killing thing either, even for the wicked. I just want to be able to help people out and maybe live my life as something more than a lowly farmer's boy. It is too late for me to go back now. I've already exchanged several bundles of rice for these weapons, and I haven't even used them for much aside from practical things or for intimidation. Though, in my practice sessions, I am enjoying myself and getting quite good at it. I even bought the materials needed to make some smoke bombs. They're really quite effective for making a- <coughs> <coughs> I know. <coughs> I know I shouldn't have bought the cheap stuff. <coughs> you can't trust discount stalls. I suppose you are correct. It would be more fruitful to pursue new avenues that might still have that same level of intrigue, but be more realistically attainable. That said, I fail to see what other jobs could offer those same form of prospects. Being a fishmonger or a seamstress seem equally boring. Hmm. Well, when I was a small child, I was always enraptured by theatrical performances. I loved to sit and watch them and always wished that I could take part. So much so that I really did want to be some form of entertainer. However, my father quickly whipped that nonsense out of me. Though, that is likely why I'm so enamored by the flair of Shinobi, despite disliking the real-world consequences of the trade. Yes, I could very well look into it further. My father will certainly not like it, but then again, he doesn't like me frolicking about the town and Silly costumes with pointy sticks, as he always said. The daimyo and the elites can fend for themselves anyhow. The entire reason for me pursuing this anyway was to help out common folk. And I guess through theater and making people forget about their worldly struggles, I might be able to still do so. No, I am not a sweetheart. Stop infantilizing me. You know that I could still hurt you. Yes, I guess I did confess that I didn't want to, but I could? What did I say about pinching my cheeks? Okay, you know what? We're done here. I'm leaving, you pest. Hmm, I guess I can forgive you since I did put you in a position where you were initially fearful for your life. Um, safe travels to you then? Watch out for any muggers if you take the path by the mountain. The Takaoka Saboteur is still out there somewhere. And this never happened. <coughs> Why does it keep doing that? <sighs> Screw it, I'll just leave. <sighs>